Infrared radiation is invisible and is given off by hot objects, for example, an electric light bulb or even our own bodies. Special infrared cameras are often used to find people buried in collapsed buildings. The radiation known as infrared has wavelengths ranging from 10 to the minus 3 to 10 to the minus 6 meters, and therefore its wavelengths are longer than those of visible light. It is found that organic compounds absorb infrared radiation. The infrared radiation is absorbed by the vibrations of the bonds in the molecules. For example, a C double bond O bond absorbs infrared radiation at a particular frequency and an OH bond absorbs infrared radiation at a different frequency. Every organic functional group will give a characteristic peak in the IR spectrum. Thus, every organic compound has a unique IR spectrum that can serve as a fingerprint for it. The IR spectrum of a compound is obtained using an infrared spectrometer similar to that shown. Infrared spectrometry is commonly used to identify plastics, illegal drugs and many other compounds. It is also used to back up evidence for prosecutions arising from breathalyzer tests in motoring offences. The principle of infrared spectrometry is that organic compounds absorb infrared radiation of certain frequencies. The combinations of frequencies that are absorbed depend on the bonding within the molecule and are unique to the particular molecule. If the sample to be analysed is a solid material, it is made into a disc by pressing it with the compound potassium bromide, KBR, under pressure as shown. Potassium bromide is stored in a desiccator to prevent it from absorbing water. Potassium bromide is very useful as it does not absorb any IR radiation. That is, it is transparent to the radiation and will not affect the spectrum. If the material being analysed is a liquid, it is placed in a cuvette or between plates made of an inorganic material such as sodium chloride. The processes that occur in an infrared spectrometer may be summarised as follows. Infrared radiation is passed through the sample being analysed. Infrared radiation of certain fixed frequencies is absorbed. This IR spectrum is an absorption spectrum and can be used to identify the compound. An IR spectrum is obtained as shown on the computer screen. A printed copy of the IR spectrum may also be obtained. This is the spectrum of benzoic acid. No other compounds have the same spectrum as benzoic acid. Databases containing thousands of IR spectra of organic compounds are available to help in the identification of compounds. Chemists can also identify the presence of particular functional groups by studying the IR spectrum of a compound. This concludes our study of infrared spectrometry.